What does the teacher gain from the loss of, of tenure? Will the loss of tenure attract good teachers to South Dakota? Why would good educators want to stay in a system where they're at the bottom of the uh, pay salary structure and also lose tenure? So this uh, question is more specific to the issue of tenure. We don't really have tenure per, per se. We have what's called continuing contracts, whereby I believe after the first three years and the fourth year, then it's considered some some type of safety, I guess, if you will. Again, I've been about 35 years in, in a similar type of operation. We've never had tenure. Uh, we've never had any issues with uh, obtaining people, keeping people. I think that if you willy nilly start letting people go. You're going to be in deep trouble in your, in your school because you're going to hire anyone if that's your reputation. I think your reputation needs to be that you're fair and you can reward your teachers fairly and, and, and adequately to the extent you can. So, so uh, I think tenure, perhaps I struggle with this, but I don't know that, that, that uh, I'm not sure anything's broken here. I just stated a few minutes ago that the superintendents are telling me, you know, if it ain't broke, stay out of it, let them go ahead and handle things. However, if uh, there was a, if I had to take a hard vote today on whether or not we keep tenure or phase it out over a period of time, I would vote to phase it out over a period of time. I don't think the tenure uh, absolutely guarantees you, you anything. It, uh, your your continuing contract is based on your, perform on your performance, is based on uh, a number of other things. I don't think that just being in a position for a period of time should uh, uh, determine whether or not uh, whether, whether or not you stay there for, for a number of years. So um, I would I would support doing away with ten years. Just briefly, the uh, those teachers that have sought me out seem you know, really don't have a strong opinion on ten years one way or the other. They, uh, they were more, uh, more vocal about the merit pay. Uh, they seem to think that the administrators, uh, administration in schools, uh, have the tools available to deal with uh, bad teachers or poor teachers and not performing teachers as they as they need to. And uh, you know, like I say, they're, they're having that strong feeling one way or the other regarding the tenure as far as uh, people that have talked to me. Uh, before we leave this topic with regards to investing in the uh, teachers' initiative, are there any comments or questions from the floor that someone would like to ask or make? I couldn't understand what Chuck said about do you support or not support tenure. Uh, the question was whether or not I support tenure. No, I can't. I said if the vote was to be taken today to do away with tenure, I would support that vote to do away with tenure. Well, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's, as I said, you've got your administration, you've got your school board, I think you have enough, enough options that, that uh, just guaranteeing a contract after three years for the rest of your life I don't think that that's in the best interest of the school, the children, or the, or the district. Sir. Um, Corey Heidelberg, a teacher at Spearfish High School. On that same note, as I think Mr. Romkin, or Representative Romkin, Romkin noted, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't really have tenure per se. There is no guarantee. We have continuing contracts. So I think to redirect that question, if we may, I understand you wouldn't support the idea of a guaranteed contract every year, but would you support protecting the current right to due process that teachers have, where if their contract isn't renewed, which administrators can do to any teacher any year, would you still support preserving a teacher's right to require that the school board and administration give a reason for that non-renewal and their right to appeal that non-renewal after uh, three, four years of service? Yes. Thank you. 
Any other comments? Audience comments? Uh, Roger Moore, that's Bearfish. Well, what guarantees would the teacher have if something like that happened? And now we have a formal system, I believe, where they have, they have those rights. But what formal system would we have if you do away with this continuing contract? Soon this will be directed to me. Uh, we're not talking about doing away with the continuing contract. You know, it, to me, it's it's two different issues. You have tenure, which says at the end of three years, once you have have uh, once you've been given your three year contract, then it takes a long process. And believe me, I, I went through a process. And this is a long time ago, where where we we worked for three years before we felt we were comfortable in going to a teacher and telling her that we're not going to renew her contract. That was a three-year process. And I felt during those three years, we had students who had who were not being well served. We had students who were missing out on a whole variety of things because this individual was, was, was involved in, in other things, grants and loans and what have you. That, I felt, was unfair to the students. Now, the way this gentleman explained it, whereby a continuing contract, if you're going to be, if you're not going to be issued a contract, you, you can go through a process and you're given a reason why. I don't have a problem with that. I think, it, I think that's something that I would, I would think you'd want to keep. Any other questions or comments from the audience? Yes, you, sir. I'd like to hear a public response to Mr. Heidelberg's question from Representative Brock and Senator Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. Because if I can reiterate, for specifically protecting the continuing uh, contract uh, the, way, the way it's in place right now, yeah, I have no problem supporting that as well. I, I think that, that that falls right in line with, uh, with the rest of the real world. Uh, in terms of the Department of Labor's uh, protection for employment insurance and a variety of things, and the processes are basically the same. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my question what's broken on support as is. I will tell you, however, I've dealt with, you know, in my field, which is essentially the same, we don't have any type of continuing contracts or anything. But I think as a business, if you don't run a, an operation that treats a staff well, you're just not going to be around right long. And the, and the trouble with schools is they can't go away like a business because you need a school. So perhaps there's some poorly run ones, but but uh, they have a good stint, I guess, of 35 years of running an operation without. But I would support as yes, because I don't think I don't know what's broken up at this point. 